Welcome to our Hong Kong Brief Program. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of Xia Hongshu, a social media platform that's changing the travel game for Chinese tourists. With its vibrant user-generated content, travelers are discovering hidden gems like Kennedy Town Playground, proving that sometimes the best views come from the most unexpected places. Next up, we explore the rising trend of family offices in Asia, particularly in Hong Kong. As wealth accumulates, these entities are adapting institutional practices to ensure sustainability and social responsibility, making Hong Kong a key player in the global wealth management scene. It's an exciting time for families looking to manage their fortunes, with a focus on impact investing. Lastly, we look at how DP World is enhancing global transport links for Chinese products through Hong Kong. With a significant investment in African infrastructure and a strategic focus on logistics, this move is set to bolster trade connections and showcase the importance of Hong Kong in the global supply chain. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. CNN, Xia Hongshu, often dubbed China's Instagram, is revolutionizing the travel landscape for Chinese tourists by providing a comprehensive platform to discover and share hidden gems around the world. From the unassuming basketball courts in Kennedy Town, Hong Kong, which offer stunning skyline views, to chic cafes in Seoul, the app has transformed how travelers curate their itineraries. Users like Jiao Lu from Beijing express their appreciation for the app's authenticity, as it is filled with real user recommendations and reviews. This has led to an influx of Chinese tourists flocking to unique locations, such as Black Square in Copenhagen and a bench in Central Park made famous by Mandapop star Jay Cho. Despite a sluggish economy, the recent National Day holiday saw a 33.2% increase in Chinese travelers, many of whom utilized Xia Hongshu to navigate their trips, showcasing its integral role in modern travel planning. South China Morning Post the rise of family offices in Asia is reshaping the wealth management landscape, particularly in Hong Kong, which is positioning itself as a global hub for these entities. With a projected wealth transfer of nearly $20 trillion from baby boomers to future generations, affluent families are increasingly seeking professional governance structures to manage their financial affairs. The Hong Kong government has introduced various incentives, including tax concessions and talent development initiatives, to attract family offices, resulting in over 750 inquiries for establishment assistance from InvestHK. This burgeoning interest is underscored by the BCG Global Wealth Report 2024, which recognizes Hong Kong as the largest cross-border wealth management center in Asia, further solidifying its pivotal role in the global wealth arena. As family offices focus on sustainable investments and philanthropy, they are not only preserving wealth but also driving social impact, aligning their financial strategies with their values. South China Morning Post, DP World, the Dubai-based port and logistics operator, is strategically leveraging its recent acquisition of cargo services far east in Hong Kong to enhance its connection between Chinese products and global markets. With China being dubbed the factory of the world, DP World aims to tap into the immense potential of the Chinese market, particularly in the retail and high-end fashion sectors. The acquisition is set to bolster DP World's logistics capabilities, enabling it to better serve customers across various regions, including Africa, where the company plans to invest significantly in port and logistics infrastructure. DP World CEO Sultan Ahmed bin Sulayim remains optimistic about China's growth trajectory, countering Western skepticism about the Chinese economy. With Hong Kong's strategic location and the burgeoning Greater Bay Area, DP World is poised to capitalize on the region's economic opportunities, further integrating its operations to enhance efficiency in global trade. South China Morning Post reports a significant rebound in Hong Kong and Chinese stocks following the People's Bank of China's introduction of a new funding facility aimed at enhancing market liquidity. The Hang Seng Index surged by 2.5%, reaching 21,157.38, 
while the Hang Seng Tech Index climbed 2.2%. The central bank's initiative, which includes an initial size of 500 billion yuan, approximately 70.7 billion US dollars, allows qualified securities, mutual funds, and insurance companies to exchange government bonds or central bank bills for corporate bonds or stock exchange traded funds. This strategic move aims to promote the healthy development of capital markets, and applications for this facility have already commenced. In another exciting development, South China Morning Post highlights Hong Kong's football team gearing up for their inaugural international match in Europe against Liechtenstein. Forward Juninho expressed his eagerness for this big experience, marking a significant moment for the team as they play outside the Asian Football Confederation territory for the first time since 1992. With a recent goal under his belt, Juninho is ready to contribute to the team's efforts to improve their FIFA ranking, currently at number 157. Despite facing challenges, including a long flight and key player withdrawals, Jininho remains committed to representing Hong Kong and adapting to the new strategies implemented by head coach Ashley Westwood. Lastly, South China Morning Post shines a light on Sister Peer, a social enterprise founded by a group of women during the COVID-19 pandemic to support their peers in overcoming adversity and fostering entrepreneurship. With the aim of empowering women, Sister Peer secured affordable workspaces and provided mentorship to help them rebuild their lives and businesses. The organization has also supported various initiatives, such as Green Brat, a sustainable fashion brand, and Happy Mom Kitchen, a restaurant that helps women regain confidence through culinary skills. The impact of Sister Peer extends beyond individual empowerment, as it also tackles community issues like food waste and insecurity, showcasing the resilience and determination of women in Hong Kong to uplift each other in challenging times. South China Morning Post, the UOB Gateway to ASEAN Conference recently held in Ho Chi Minh City showcased the promising economic outlook for the ASEAN region, particularly highlighting Vietnam's projected growth of nearly 6% this year. With a combination of strong foreign direct investment and a recovering export sector, the conference brought together key stakeholders, including UOB executives and government officials, to discuss the region's potential. Ho Chi Minh City is set to enhance its infrastructure by 2030, aligning with ASEAN's anticipated population growth to 700 million. UOB's long-standing commitment to Vietnam, established in 1993, has allowed it to assist over 170 companies in expanding into the country, with investments reaching approximately 2.4 billion Singapore dollars. The conference also emphasized the importance of sustainability and innovation, with discussions on how businesses can thrive in a rapidly evolving environment. South China Morning Post, as World Mental Health Day approaches, the focus shifts to the pressing need for a cultural change in Hong Kong's work environment, which often prioritizes long hours over employee well-being. With over 200,000 working poor and a widening income gap, the call for a healthier work-life balance has never been more urgent. Studies suggest that productivity does not hinge on extended hours, as demonstrated by countries that have enacted laws to protect employees from after-hours work. Advocates argue for a lifestyle-oriented approach to mental health, emphasizing the importance of sleep, nutrition, and physical activity. The need for nurturing environments in schools and workplaces is crucial for fostering mental wellness, as toxic competition and overwork can lead to detrimental outcomes. By prioritizing holistic health and human dignity, Hong Kong can transform its current culture into one that promotes well-being and retains local talent. South China Morning Post a groundbreaking AI tool has unveiled nearly 162,000 new RNA virus species, revolutionizing the field of virology. Developed by a collaborative team from China, Hong Kong, and Australia, this tool leverages machine learning to analyze previously unrecognized genetic sequences from public databases, identifying viruses in less than a second. 
The study, published in the journal Cell, marks the largest discovery of virus species to date, highlighting the diversity of viruses found in extreme environments such as hot springs. Co-lead author Shermang emphasized that this AI technology fills gaps left by traditional methods, allowing researchers to explore dark matter sequences that were previously unidentifiable. As the tool continues to evolve, it promises to enhance our understanding of viral ecology and pathogenicity, paving the way for significant advancements in biological exploration and the study of host virus interactions. South China Morning Post reports that the owners of the now-closed Hong Kong gym chain Physical may evade criminal charges by securing a new investor to continue operations. Following their arrest for allegedly accepting payments without the intention to provide services, the owners could argue they were in the process of transferring the business to a third party. Legal experts suggest that a notice on the company's website announcing a new investor could serve as a defense, provided evidence supports that they were actively seeking to procure a new operator. The investigation follows numerous complaints from customers regarding prepaid services, leading to significant financial repercussions for the chain. The Globe and Mail reveals that the RCMP has filed extensive data requests in the investigation of William Matcher, a retired Mountie accused of foreign interference for China. Matcher allegedly utilized his Canadian connections to gather intelligence beneficial to the Chinese government, facing two charges under the Security of Information Act. The investigation has led to requests for a wide array of records, including financial and social media data. Matcher, who has denied the allegations, claims to be a patriot and has sought to change the venue of his trial. The case highlights concerns over foreign influence and the complexities of espionage in a globalized world. In an exclusive interview with South China Morning Post, Korean actor Gang Dong Won discusses his preparation for the Netflix film Uprising, which premiered at the Busan International Film Festival. The film, set in Joseon-era Korea, allowed for greater creative freedom due to its collaboration with Netflix, which Gang believes facilitated a more intense and graphic narrative. He shares insights into his character, a slave-turned-leader of a rebellion, and the unique training methods he employed, including golf, to prepare for the physically demanding role. The film's director, Kim Sang-man, and writer Park Chan-wook emphasize the emotional depth of the action sequences, particularly a climactic battle shrouded in fog, symbolizing the characters' inner conflicts. Uprising will be available for streaming on Netflix starting October 11. South China Morning Post highlights the growing relationship between Hong Kong and ASEAN, emphasizing the need for deeper cultural connections beyond mere trade agreements. The article underscores the importance of fostering genuine interest and affection between ordinary citizens through arts and cultural exchanges. It suggests that Hong Kong should actively promote collaborations in film, theater, and music, using events like the ASEAN Film Festival as a platform for showcasing shared themes and narratives. The piece advocates for establishing mentorship networks and internship opportunities for young artists, enhancing their understanding of the region's diverse cultures, and ultimately bridging the gap between the global north and south through creative initiatives. In another article from the South China Morning Post, the concept of quiet luxury and stealth wealth is explored within the realm of women's fashion. The narrative reveals a shift toward investing in timeless, high-quality wardrobe staples that transcend seasonal trends, with brands like Loro Piana, The Row, and Brunello Cusinelli leading the way. Fashion experts emphasize the importance of quality fabrics and cuts over flashy logos, highlighting how this trend resonates with consumers seeking longevity in their purchases. The article lists essential wardrobe pieces, such as tailored blazers and classic trench coats, while encouraging women to incorporate their unique style into these timeless essentials, transforming them from basic to brilliant. Lastly, the South China Morning Post delves into the close friendship between Meghan Markle and Kelly McKee Zachvin, particularly highlighting their support for charitable causes. 
The two were recently seen together at a charity event for the Los Angeles Children's Hospital, where Zajfin expressed her gratitude for Markle's commitment to community service. Zajfin, who co-founded the Alliance of Moms to support pregnant and parenting teens in the foster care system, has leaned on Markle for support during difficult times, particularly after the tragic loss of her son. Their enduring friendship is marked by mutual support, as seen in their joint efforts to raise funds for children's causes, showcasing the power of friendship in navigating personal grief and advocating for community welfare. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 dobriefcom Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Waking up to wonders, taking nature blunders, got our rockets flying while the oceans are sighing.